guys, so today I'm going to be basically talking about these two Tamagotchis that I managed to pick up for £7. So first of all, you have a generic one from the 2000s, from what I kind of remember, which is awesome. I remember having these, they're so good. And I also managed to pick up this cool Pokemon Pikachu colour edition. I believe, in my research, this is a Japanese one. But it's all in English. Also, though, what we're going to do, as you've probably seen by the title, is we're going to unbox this Tamagotchi. So this is a vintage Tamagotchi from the from 1997. Um, it's called Giga Pet, Pets. It's a typical Tiger product. I have actually... I'm pretty sure I found this either at like a boot sale or even like a charity shop. The reason this video is also going up so late is because I bought this ages ago and I kind of put it in a box and it's taken me until now to actually find this one. But yeah, so we are gonna unbox these. So I have loads and loads of bits. I've got like spare batteries because these batteries have been in here since 1997 and I really don't think, yeah, that they've probably kind of survived. So I've got spare ones, I've got cloth in case they've exploded. It's all good. Right, so first of all, this is or was like your bog standard pet kind of, or virtual pet boxing. So it says, name your pet, your pet needs a name. It also says, tame your pet, feed them, tame them, clean them. Uh, play games with your pet. We chase butterflies, which is brilliant English. Um, claim your pet. Oh, yeah, claim your pet. Take a GG pet. Take a GG pets home today. So yeah, this is a tiger product. It says it's suitable for ages five and up. It is model number seven one six one two. On the back here. It says the Take It Anywhere International Virtual Pets. GG Pets is a brand new. I don't really want to know. I'm really wondering if this is like a cop off of this. Right, because my I'm gonna state my spelling is terrible. I would just like to say thanks for letting me know about the dodgy spelling mistake that I so made in my last video, but yeah, you could choose, you can have that one. So this says, GG Pets is a brand new kind, kind of game that challenges you to raise a fun creature into a healthy, happy pet, just like a real pet. You've got to feed them, play with them, clean up after them, even take care of them when they get sick. The happier and healthier your pet grows up, the more you will score. So within this range, there was a few different ones so on the back here that I will show you in a moment it says there's a digital doggy a baby t-rex a virtual alien a micro chimp and a bit critter so they are down there I think I remember someone having the t-rex but I don't really remember I don't really remember it does say collect them all which I think would have driven you insane I remember my mum taking my one to work with her i the one i had when i was a kid was a little round one and it's just pink and it was like this it was, a t it was just a cat and yeah i was so distraught when that thing died i kept that thing alive until the batteries ran out but yes so that is the packaging i will show you complete back as well i have looked online uh, this particular model um there just seems to be some differences these pictures on here and here are from the Barbie one, but this this actual Tamagotchi is just a generic cat one, so I don't really know. I'm just seeing if it, yeah, it is from 1997. So, but yes, so we are gonna open this. So I've got my scissors and these, oh, I don't know if I've just from older now they were just never very easy to kind of get into you kind of had to like cut all the way around 
So we are gonna start from this bit. Oh. I think it's because it's probably ooh, sugar. It's supposed to be like a kid's toy, so I guess it's meant to be slightly easier to get into than some of the other stuff. Right. So, ooh, I had thrown it away. We have got into this bad boy. So, first of all, obviously you've got your little sticker at the front that's still on there. Um, oh, okay. So inside here, you have Your instructions. Oh gosh. Congratulations, you are the proud new owner of a GG Pet. The Take It Anywhere inter Interactive Pet. Your new GG Pet is going to need lots of attention to grow up healthy and happy. The healthier and happy your pet is, the higher the score will be. The instructions will help you along the way. So it's like, this is food. This is a sleeping cat. This is food. This is a sleeping cat. This is a cat playing with a butterfly. It kind of freaks me out that when the cat seems to be sick, you seem to get a broken leg cat. Oh my God, I've just looked at the back. That is horrendous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I, I don't really remember these things dying. Yeah, they died and there used to be like this little grave, I guess. But hilariously, when you get a game over, the game is over when your pet dies. Your pet can die from bad health or old age. If your pet dies from bad health, you should reset the game and try again. Take care to pay closer attention to your pet. Your pet can also die from old age. Your pet is designed to live for about two weeks. However, if you take very good care of your pet, it may live longer. Keep your pet health above a 95 and it may live for months but if your pet dies you get this sorry that's come up but you get that you get this so you get a winged angel cat going up to heaven i assume that is very disturbing very very disturbing <laughs> right so first look at our pet. So, off the bat, it's your typical original Tamagotchi. You've got a lot of writing kind of on the front. So the top bit here is very hard to see, not just on the camera, just in real life. So to the left it says GG Pets, because it's in like, it's, this is like a yellow case and it's in really light purple. Um, it says Computy Kitty Tiger, and it's got like weird, almost blood like <laughs> decal on it. So, all in all, I'm gonna say that the batteries look pretty good in this. So they don't look like they've gone. So we're gonna we're gonna pull the pull me tab and we're gonna see if this thing turns on straight away. So <laughs> right, it hasn't turned on. I am completely not surprised. So that is fine. We have our trusty screwdriver, which is right here. I, I've got loads of different types of batteries, and I'm really kind of how ah, won't you come out? Really kind of hoping that I've got like the right the right batteries because. Um, I always manage to not have the right ones. I believe I have the right ones. So let's take these batteries out. Oh God, they're very, very stuck in. Maybe these ones don't explode, they just degrade. No, that one does look like it's left a little mark. We'll do that. Right, so what ones are these? These are I have no idea. Do you know what? It's gonna be really, really annoying. I think I have one. I do not have two of this blue battery that I need. Oh. 
Yes, I have one. We're going to try and put the other back, that battery. Oh, I heard a funny noise. Okay, yep, yep. Right, so putting, ah, one of the, that one seems, that one battery seems to have gone and the other one seems to still be living from 1997. So, right, so we're gonna, we're gonna run with that. I don't know how long it will last. It seems pretty bright. Normally when the batteries were dying on these things, it got to the point of like proper dying. So it seems, first of all, it's come up with this. So it, need, it wants to know the time. So the, t the time is quarter past nine. So, oh, okay. at 16 because right what's your pet's name so shall we just go with oh you can have numbers in it oh my gosh So we're going to go with that. So we I'm going to call it Zoe. Right. Oh, oh. It's there is my creepy looking pet. I forgot how Oh my gosh. Apparently this like it's rubbing itself against the screen at me. Right. So it reckons it's 9 a.m., but hey ho, that's fine. Ooh. But I can't work out how to get off. These things were. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, I have a retarded sad cat. I don't actually understand why. Right, so if I click right, so I have, I no idea. I think that's food. Yes, it's food. So you can feed your cat as you normally would, a pie. Is it gonna eat the pie? Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's eating the pie. Is there any other food? Oh, you can give it a fish bone. Part of a balanced diet, which is great. What else can we give it? No, just a pie or a fish bone. Okay, so we'll give him one more pie, shall we? Okay. So you can send him to bed. I assume that's play with him. Okay, so play with him just kind of gives him a butterfly. Are you meant to what are you meant to do? Okay, one minute, one minute, one minute, one. Where is our creepy instructions? Let's see what we are meant to do with the said butterfly. Play. To keep your pet healthy and happy, you should play with it often. When you select the activity, your pet, uh, you and your pet can play a game with skill and determination. Any object will appear for your pet to play with. Press the left or right. Oh, he's done a poo. Already, he has done a poo. To make your pet reach. <laughs> now it's screaming at me, saying, clean my poo up. You annoying human. Okay, so you have to go over to this very end one and click enter, I think. Oh. Okay. 
I love it. My pet's getting super sad already, and I'm just like, I'm clearly trying. Oh no, I cleared it up and it meowed at me. No, I didn't clear it up. Oh my god, I don't know how to clean the bow up. You got the bell for it to come. The sh is it the shower? Yes, it's the shower. So the shower cleans the cap for one. So all in all, I remember these from when I was a kid. They, it brings back so many memories and I am actually deciding that I'm going to start collecting a few of these as long as I can find them cheap. So the next one that I got was this one. So I haven't actually turned this one on. These came, this came without batteries. So I've got one of these ready one of these ones I had to buy these ones they all seem to just scream that horrendous noise like 24 7 I mean people had hundreds of these attached to their bag right okay so this one I kind of have an egg at the moment you can't really do anything with it oh download oh yeah this one you can download I think bits I never had one of these ones oh no I, ha I now have a tooth monster it looks like a baby tooth so pixelated it's funny <laughs> oh it reckons it's 7 32 a.m on the 20th of the 6th Ooh. oh little chef so what can we Mwah. what can we feed this guy feed him a meal oh he can have a hamburger which is one point You have a sushi roll, Ooh, curry. I can't see what that is. It looks like a jacket potato. So, what should we feed him? Should we feed him a jacket potato? He's just been born. He must be hungry, right? So then, if we go seriously. He's already gone to bed. He's like, no, it's too late for me. I, I need sleep. So he's gone to bed. So we're going to leave him alone. So the next one we've got to talk about then is this one. So this one has already got a battery in it. I actually have been using and testing this one out all week so far. So this one is your pocket poke or Pikachu. And this one is specifically the coloured one. So all that difference is means that Pikachu is actually yellow so first of all this one is is not really a, a Tamagotchi as such as I thought it was I never had one of these as a kid so this is more of a walker meter you can kind of hear it if I shake it it has a ball inside it actually keeps your steps very very well I've been doing using this for the past three to four days so it keeps your steps very well you can see it's got it's completely clear like and it's shaped completely like an original Game Boy um you've got your Pikachu here on the front and it's also got this bit here but I researched into it because I said I've never had this before what you get is you play games with your Pikachu from you'll get points from doing steps and you play games with your Pikachu it's a simple card game that I'll show you in a moment. From that, you earn points, which are called Watts, and you can actually transfer them using this infrared with your Game Boy Color over to Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon, or Pokemon Gold, sorry, and Pokemon Silver. So what I'm gonna actually be doing is, I'm actually gonna, I've got, they actually sent them out, so hopefully they'll be here tomorrow or like Friday the latest. But yeah, fingers crossed. But yeah, so I've actually got Pokemon Yellow and Gold coming for the 3DS. So I'm wondering if this is going to work with it. I doubt it. Oh gosh, sorry. But we will soon find out. So, oh, someone's doing something. The cat's barking at me. I'm not even joking. Okay, you need to, like, go to bed now. Thank you. Cat's asleep, so we should be fine. So, first of all then, we will show you Pikachu. So, you click this big button here. And as you can see, Pikachu is having a shower. No. 
I have no idea what Pikachu's doing. He looks like he's got a fag. Am I assuming maybe it's a... F I think it's like a firework, one of those ones kids hold and do their names in. But it really looks like Pikachu is literally having a fag. <laughs> I can't really get the light out of it, which is really frustrating. So I want to get closer. So yeah, so <laughs> that's not working. Right. So this is your Pikachu, as you can see. Yeah, it looks like he's got a sparkler, but it looks like a fire from the wrong angle. So he does these little bits here and there, to be honest with you, which is absolutely fine. Um, Kenny will turn himself off. I have no idea what Pikachu's doing now. So Pikachu's gone like that. So I don't know if I've upset him. What are you doing, Pikachu? Right, so either way, as you can see, my step counter is up the top here. So according to this, I've done 4,728 steps today, which considering I have an office job isn't remarkably terrible um so what you do is you actually go in to here and you click this and this is your simple turn based game so basically you just turn the cards kind of make it so you guys can see better so you turn the cards so i'm gonna do that There we go. So you basically choose higher or lower. So I have got a nine. So we're going to go lower. And you get what each time you do this, which is great. But unfortunately, that is like pretty much the only game on here. I have no idea what Pikachu's doing. Pikachu's watching the night sky. So you can pretty much shake this one. And I will put a link to the advert for this. Researching it, I found an ad. There's Pikachu. For this, from Japan. And it is hilarious. So, yeah. So, I have found um, throughout the time that he has done random things. So... I will stick some photos up of some of the bits that I've taken photos of as I've gone through. This is in remarkable condition. I'm so sorry. I keep going to bed. It's so blooming late. But yeah, this is in amazing condition for what it is, to be honest with you. Um, these were more than likely bought for children. And to be honest with you, if I was expecting one of these and I got this, one, I'd be excited because it's Pokemon, but two, I'd be disappointed because... This is what you wanted. You wanted your own little virtual pet that you could look after and like show your friends. And this is what you've got, which is basically a, a deluxe walker meter. So all in all, as I said, I didn't really know that. You can't actually kill this Pikachu at all. Like you can, with these, you can genuinely kill them. All you have to do is basically neglect them and they die. This, you can't actually do anything to. Pikachu just gets really pissed with you if you don't play with him. And by playing with him, I literally mean putting him on and walking with him. If he's asleep, you can literally shake the meter and he wakes up. He does seem to, like, eat. He does seem to eat, but he eats by himself. You don't feed him. He doesn't really, like, do poos like the other animals do, like I just showed you. It is... It's very nice. I really like the memorabilia side of it. I love Pokemon items and I love gaming memorabilia. So I'm definitely, this is one that I'm so going to keep and be proud to have in my collection. These go for about 50 bucks on eBay at the moment. And I managed to get this one and this one included postage for about seven to eight pounds. The guy just pretty much didn't really want them. He was in the UK, but didn't really live anywhere near me so i emailed him nicely just asking if he would post it to me and i was just very lucky he was like yeah yeah that's sure but are you like when can you pay and i was like tell me how much you want 
and I will literally pay you today by PayPal. So I literally went straight away and did that. Um, even in my receipt, I put for the price of two Tamagotchis. He was just happy to get rid of them, to be fair. So personally, this is something that I'm going to cherish. Um, it is super cute. It takes one of these... Oops, he could just come back on again. One of these batteries here just to run it, which... To be honest with you, I'm trying to be slightly healthier anyway. So I'm kind of like wearing this on a day to day. And I said it's been keeping track of my um, steps. You can actually go into this and it will tell you your steps for each day. So I've worn this for five days now. And in total, according to this, I've done 19,000. Yeah, 19,326 steps. So on day one, I did 5,356. Day two is 3,785. Day three was 2,074. Day four was 3,240. And day five is today, so it's only put 80 steps into it. So all in all, this is pretty good. Like, I definitely really enjoy it. I have no idea what that is. What is that? I wanted to put a plastic. Okay. Sorry about that. But yeah, all in all, it's kind of cute to have Pikachu by your side. I really, I kind of would recommend this. This is supposed to be. And their other Tamagotchi kind of walk meter they did um, for Heart Gold and Soul Silver is supposed to be one of the best walk meters around. And genuinely, I have heard, obviously, I've researched into this, and apparently, like there's a lady that did a massive test on them and they were actually supposed to be one of the best ones going for actually keeping accurate scores of your steps personally i said if i was a child i'd be incredibly disappointed with this it's got one game where most of the time i got choose when i was younger I had about three or four different games but yeah you got to feed them they got sick and you got upset when they got sick but looking back through some of the old toys that we had, um, like in the early 2000s, ah, sugar, is just amazing. Like if you look at these and for a, like a younger version of me, these are amazing. Even just getting one like this was amazing. I love technology. I've been bought a Game Boy and yeah, I played that non-stop. But this was something that I was personally like, it was mine. It was like my first pet, you know, to try, trying to be like to my parents, like, look, I can have a cat. I promise, look, I feed it every day. And they're like, it's not really the same. But yeah, I think personally, some of the toys that we had in the early 2000s are just literally the best. They are, they're just awesome. Like they're so easygoing and just, it's just, I find it in the early 2000s, it was just innocent fun. We had these, we had those squishy aliens that came out of the eggs. I remember a, a girl at school crying because, like, a guy, one of the guys picked it up and threw it. So we had to have a funeral for it because it had died. But yeah, and like the myths behind them, like, well, if you took, put two of their backs together, they have babies. And you're like, as a child, you did it because you were like, this must be true, but it really wasn't. And obviously there's there's no way of them ever, ever doing that. But just, I just find these so much innocent fun. And I would really recommend kind of, I guess, giving one of these to a kid nowadays. Just being like, this is what we dealt with. This is the pixelated awe that we had that we were amazed by. Because to be honest, these two here, are the best example of what we had when we were first of all because these are just cheap small pixelated things and these weren't cheap actually when they first came out they're about 50 quid some of them especially if you bought the name brand like the tamagotchi ones yeah obviously you could get knockoffs just like you could the game boy games and the game boys but they're the ones that everybody wanted this one is a bit later on as i said these are all in black and white and this one is in color they did do a black and white version of this one, and I believe the case is yellow um, to match almost purple and yellow when it came out. 
But these things are literally part of the playground legends that we had as a child. So let me know what you think in the comments below about these. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I will see you guys next time. Um, on my next video, I am going to be unboxing some legitimate original vintage, like vintage, retro, whatever you want to call it, um, Game Boy accessories. So these I have found in a charity shop and they are fully sealed in packets like this. Um, and we're going to be unboxing them and testing them out and seeing if they're any good. But thanks very much for watching guys and I will see you guys next time. So.